Now, some Republican lawmakers, as we know, have been pushing for a special counsel to look into the Clinton Foundation. So that brings us today to the Republican Congressman John Ratcliffe is with us. And among those leading that charge, and Congressman, before I even ask you about the specifics regarding that push, let me ask your reaction to what Blake just reported to us. These e this email from 2013 after Secretary Clinton had left office, supposedly a classified email still being sent at that point. What's your reaction to that? Well, it's more of the same, Connell. Um, I think it's why many of us felt uh, that there should have been um, a prosecution started with respect to Hillary Clinton regarding classified emails, and uh, Loretta Lynch should have been the one to initiate that, and it really ties into uh, the point that I'm here to talk about today, which is uh, now we've got another scandal with respect to the Clinton Foundation, and we don't want uh, Loretta Lynch to be the person who is exercising prosecutorial discretion because right. clearly she's out to protect uh, someone within uh, the Obama administration. You want a special prosecutor. Um, where are we on that? And timetable to me is always important because of where we are now. It's the last day of August, the election, of course, November 8th. We want to get as much information about both candidates as we can before then. But in this case, you know, uh, time is at issue. Where are we on the push for a special prosecutor? Well, the way the statute works is we have to ask uh, the attorney general to appoint a special counsel. Congress can't uh, require it. Um, so we're making that request now. But, Connell, um, while I don't want Hillary Clinton uh, to be the next president, the purpose behind this request for a special counsel isn't to influence the election. It's so that justice is served and that people, the American people see that everyone's treated equally under the law. And there are real concerns uh, about Loretta Lynch's ability to administer a fair and impartial uh, review of this matter based on her own conduct and her own testimony. So, uh, as you recall, uh, uh, Connell, she, uh, in her own words, cast a shadow over the Department of Justice when she met with Bill Clinton right. five days before she cleared Hillary Clinton uh, of charges relating to the unauthorized uh, emails. But then she appeared before me and my colleagues on the House Judiciary Committee, and in response to a question I asked her, she said she wouldn't rule out applying for a job to be the Attorney General for Hillary Clinton. And then I asked her a question specifically about the Clinton Foundation, and she gave me an answer which led me to believe um, that it was not a matter before the Justice Department. And as you know, there are now multiple public reports out there that the FBI approached her on multiple occasions about opening an investigation into the Clinton Foundation. Right. And so that begs the question itself about um, uh, why is uh, she uh, making recommendations and following recommendations from the FBI when they're good for the Clintons, but not following those them, FBI right. recommendations when they're bad for the All Clintons. All right, um, Congressman out of Texas, John Ratcliffe, keep us up to date on this uh, push for the special prosecutor.